This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1950, How Cyclical Thinking Can Help You Live Better, by Ceylon George of spirituallivingforbusypeople.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy first full day of Ramadan if you're observing, and welcome to Optimal Living Daily, or the OLD podcast, where I read to you from some of the best blogs and articles I can find and get permission from, and sometimes books, covering personal development or self-help, minimalism, productivity, anything that I think will help make your life more meaningful. A real quick thanks to Anchor for hosting this podcast. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. They'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard everywhere, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can easily make money from your podcast too with no minimum listenership. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. How Cyclical Thinking Can Help You Live Better by Silon George of spirituallivingforbusypeople.com Seize the day. Make every moment count. These are wisdom sayings we hear all the time. They're sound too. However, in our hurried world, many of us are thinking only of the short-term rather than long-term gains and losses in life. We think linearly rather than cyclically, and it's had big consequences on our sense of well-being. How has thinking linearly not served us? The shortcomings of linear thinking. One of the biggest drawbacks of linear thinking is the assumption that more is always good and the less is always bad. We may not say this, but the way we approach life societally gives us away. We know that life doesn't work this way. We even have sayings like, what goes up must come down to crystallize the truth of cycles, but we just can't help ourselves. Probably the most glaring example of how we defy reality is in the stock market. We all know about boom and bust cycles and we've all been through them. However, when the good times are rolling, we still act as if the good times will go on forever. And when the bad times finally arrive, we act as if the world is going to end. This reality can be extended to other areas in our lives. When relationships go south, we often bail just before an opportunity for growth presents itself. If you happen to be doing well financially, you may neglect to budget, save, and plan for a time when that money may stop flowing in. Linear thinking is deceptive because it often promises a pot of gold at the end of a list of step-by-step instructions for getting there but really it's a painful trap when we realize that it does not mirror reality. How cyclical thinking can help you live better. You may be picturing a cyclical image as a circle with arrows pointing in one direction, going round and round in an endless and meaningless loop. Think instead of a spiral, which represents the cyclical image moving through space and time. Every situation, no matter how familiar, finds you in a different place than the last time you were there. For starters, you're older and have more life experience under your belt. For example, having a second child is a different experience from the first. Or how about when you first encountered a problem at work that you were able to apply to similar problems going forward? Cyclical thinking does not trap us in an endless loop. It represents the truth of how life and nature flows. And if you use it well, cyclical thinking can help improve your well-being. Here's how. Number one, It helps you get through the hard times. Cyclical thinking is especially helpful when you're going through a difficult season. While you're in the middle of it, the winters of our lives can feel harsh, even life-threatening. But if we allow ourselves to think back to a time where we struggled in a similar way, it can often be a source of encouragement. Many people get through difficult periods and emerge stronger than before. Going through a difficult season? Remember that you've likely been there before. Draw on the resources and tools you gained last time around to help you through this time. Number two, you'll be better prepared for opportunities. There's a quote attributed to scientist Louis Pasteur, which says, quote, fortune favors the prepared mind, end quote. This is cyclical thinking at its best. How many opportunities have you missed because you weren't prepared for the harvest season? Think of all the overnight successes in film, music, art, sports, and academia who slaved away in obscurity for years before the lucky breaks came along. 
They understood the power of seasons. They understood that in order to benefit from the good times, they needed to be prepared for it. Number three, you'll learn to let go. When we learn to trust the seasons of life, we learn to let go of our expectations of how life's supposed to be. If you live in a climate with four seasons, you may complain about winter, but you don't sit around in the cold brooding about your lot in life while you freeze to death. You make adjustments. You wear warm clothing. You put on snow tires. You even play various winter sports and build snowmen. Life is the same way. When we find ourselves in less than ideal seasons of life, we can learn to adapt. And the way we do this is by letting go of our expectations. Letting go of your expectations and accepting life as it unfolds before you is probably the single greatest path to peace. Make every season count. Seize the season. Make every season count. I know it doesn't have the same ring to it, but if you wanna start making progress in places in your life where you feel stuck, you may need to zoom out from the day-to-day. Whether you're in a season of life you enjoy or don't enjoy, live the season you find yourself in fully. And you'll find unexpected joy by just being present to the natural rhythm of life. You just listened to the post titled How Cyclical Thinking Can Help You Live Better by Silon George of spirituallivingforbusypeople.com. I'll have some comments, but first, are you a business owner hiring for spring? What type of role are you hiring for? Maybe you need to hire someone to wear many hats, which can be challenging. Or you might have a simple position to fill, but it's taking forever to find someone who's a great fit for your company. That's where ZipRecruiter comes in. ZipRecruiter can help you find qualified candidates fast, and now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com old. Whether you need to hire a civil engineer in New York, a pediatric nurse in Nebraska, an attorney in Colorado, or even a mascot in Missouri, ZipRecruiter's matching technology finds people with the right experience for your job and actively invites them to apply. It's so effective that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. From accountant to zoologist and everything in between, ZipRecruiter makes hiring easier. And right now you can try it for free at our Only Our Listeners Get It link, ziprecruiter.com slash old. If you go to ziprecruiter.com slash old today to try ZipRecruiter for free, we get credit for sending you. Once again, that's ziprecruiter.com slash OLD. Thank you to Silon George. Come by spirituallivingforbusypeople.com for a lot more. A great reminder from him today, it's so easy to get caught in that way of thinking that whatever we're facing right now is going to last forever. We know it won't, but in the moment, it's so easy to forget that. In a couple of years, months, maybe even weeks, days, or minutes and seconds, things can and will change. Everything will change somehow. And while some are predictable, like seasons, some aren't at all and completely blindside us in both positive and negative ways. Although I don't like to classify them that way because everything that comes at us can be used as a learning experience and learning is always a positive. So try not to forget that today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for following or subscribing to the show. And I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.